So guys, we are officially back with more Fallout 4. I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't been addicted to a game in quite some time. But I feel that addiction kind of spreading with this one. Uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. It's, it's really cool how the last few videos have went. I think they've been more story driven than the entire game. So that being said, we're going to kind of keep it going. New clients right now, sweetheart. What would she do if I just stole her glass? I mean, like, what are you really going to do? Hey, Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? So she's pretty much, uh, NPC. Can I go in here? Can I take all this? Now, let me see. If I'm hidden... I don't want to risk it. I know if you're hidden and you take stuff, you're good, but... I don't know. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg, is that you? What? What are you talking about? You, um, you feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg for real, though. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Ooh, I don't know. Taking him does sound risky, but... I don't know. I kind of want Gladsworth back. Let's just take him. Let's Whatever. Get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Codsworth, excuse me. I said Gladsworth. Let's see where it takes us next. Can't believe I just said that. I said uh, I, was, I was thinking of Glados from Portal. <laughs> get it all mixed up. All right. So right now, if you noticed uh, our perk chart, we don't have anything new yet. Uh, we are so close to level 10. I've kind of been taking my time with this game, but I just, I don't know. I don't want to go too slow, you know? Uh, my apparel's good. Glowing Sea. Find Virgil in the Glowing Sea. The problem is that is going to be a long way away from here. Where is it at? Yeah, way over there. Holy shit. I don't know the best way to get there. It looks like going across this is going to give me some kind of radiation, so... I feel like Diamond City might be the closest thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go there and then cut across. Unless you can't go there. It might be something where I have to go to Fort Hagen and go down. Which, actually, I'm going to do that. Seems like the better place to go. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. We're going to go this way. So we kind of have a long way to go. Uh, if you look at our map. We're going to be going all the way down here. Probably going to run into a lot of different stuff, so we'll see what happens. I'll get my gun out just in case. I don't know, guys. I'm a little nervous about this. What I'll probably do, I might show me a little bit of getting there, but for the most part, I wanted to kind of transition to save on time. I'm going to do a lot more side missions. A lot of games, like, I'll do a little bit here and there. And uh, with, with this one, I just figured I would take my time and explore a little bit. I'm not going to kill anything. Just going to be chilling. Wait, is he shooting at him? I don't think they'll attack you. But I guess he's going to do whatever he wants. I'm going to go. As, let's see how, how far I just got by walking. Man, we got a long way to go. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. Unless something amazing happens, I will just transition when I actually get there. So hang tight. Alright guys, so check this out. Uh, nothing has really happened since I've been kind of moving along. We're about, I guess I'd say about halfway there. Doing the glowing sea mission still, trying to at least get it started. Just thought I saw this ship and I thought I was like, I want to show this to people. It reminds me of DayZ a little bit. Just like the gloomy aspect of this area. Look at that. Imagine being that, <laughs> just like stuck in the middle. I'm not sure if you can go on that. I guarantee there's something on there though. I'm just, I don't want to get like radiation. Oh, tin rats! 
Holy shit, that was close. The radiation is real. I don't believe that. I don't even see anything on it. Unless there's something inside the main area. I, I'm not even going to mess with it. So we have like some kind of civilization. Looks like an old neighborhood. It's an old Red Rocket gas station. Oh shit. Can you go through there? No, you can't. There's a dinner fork and a bone cutter. I don't need that. I don't want to hoard stuff. I really don't. Unless I absolutely need it. I don't want to grab it. Unless it's like uh, the moon monkey that I picked up a few parts back. We got to worry about the radiation right here. That was one of the biggest things. By doing this, we wanted to be able to... I don't know. I'm going to take a lot of radiation... I just feel it. We're really close. If it keeps happening, I'll have to uh, avoid the water as much as I can. I think it's just like right over here. There was a, a downloadable content in Fallout 3 where it had a... I think it was like an alien mothership or something? I don't know what it was. That was one of the coolest things though. They had five good downloadable contents for it. That's why I wanted to explore this game, level up my character as much as I can. I even saw like a glitch where you can max out all your stats, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to do that. That's kind of cheating, I think. I don't want to take a risk and make my character way too strong where it's not even a challenge. We gotta be getting close. Gotta be getting close. I haven't shown like the scale of this game in its entirety. Holy shit. Is it still happening? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just creeping right now, guys. I've got to keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Even if I get there, it's like... Holy shit. Yeah, look at that radiation. Holy shit. Oh my god. Hang on. Where's my inventory? I don't. You know what? I don't know. I'm just gonna have to use the rat away and a stem pack. So, a little fun fact uh, my game crashed. <laughs> I got an auto save point where I had like max radiation. It was just. It was bad news all around. And so I've actually gotten back to this point without actually having to use any of my stem packs or anything like that right now. I'm going to keep those available because it does get rough through here. I hope the thing does not see me. I just don't have... Okay, this is what I need to do. Uh, my inventory... Using the Rad X drops it down to where you only take one radiation. So I'm gonna keep popping those until I get there. Uh, because last time I got there, it was like it was just it was just a clusterfuck. It really was. So I'm having to get back over there. Scorpions. Holy shit. I'm gonna keep going. I leveled up to ten. I put it on my endurance. Okay, as long as it's going up by one and not by like twenty, you know. I'm gonna keep running. Cause I can keep popping those as much as I need to. On the AP, let's go. But that, that endurance is so low right now. I barely move, and it's just like. Holy shit. Go, go, go. I finally made it through here, but it just. I got it. It's, it's weird. I got to a point where every time I opened the door to where we needed to go, uh, I would die instantly from radiation. So I had to reload where I started the video at. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna pop that again, but I'm also going to drink some purified water and hope that clears it up a little bit. Look at the damage! Holy shit! More water. One of these. You can't even... Holy shit. You just have to run. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting... Absolute slaughtered right now. Come 
Come on, go, 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 you bastard. I don't know if they just... Maybe they're gone? I might put another, uh... Rad X up to kind of prevent me from getting just slaughtered by this. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that now. Wanted to manage my inventory a little bit better <laughs> going forward. There we go. Should only take one or less than one. It's like an overtime type thing. Because I actually got to this little area coming up here and there's like some people there. You gotta fight off scorpions. Problem is, everybody got wiped out. I just, I just kind of sat there and watched because I had no way to do anything. My radiation level was up. I was getting like plus 15. We're really close. What is this little symbol over here? Okay, this must be the area. This is where I got to last time. Crater of Adam. Alright. I don't know if there's anything in here. I didn't have time to really search for anything. Toy alien. Thing is, I don't want to steal stuff because... Maybe these people can help me? I don't know. There's a little house over here. Or like some more trailers, I think. I'm gonna talk to them. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Atom? What's going on here? Atom reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? For a green suntan, I, suggest we get a move on. I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, nice. this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. All right, so even coming to this little town right here, uh, last time when I got here, scorpions attacked. So I don't know if I like lured them to them or what. Try to get back through here. Oh, come on, come on, you can make it. Oh, the jump! I just want to make sure I can get to this next area before the video ends. It's been like the longest recording. A lot of people ask me like, how long does it take to make a 20-minute video? I'll tell you right now, it's taken. A long time. <laughs> oh shit, it wore off. That's kind of weird. I'm still in like a radiation area, but it's not showing anything. That's kind of weird. I don't want to fight those things anymore. Is he next to me? No, he's not. Those things will straight up murder you if you're not careful. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these, one stem pack. Alright, let's go. Maybe it just stopped popping up. Where did I go? There it's popping up now. Yeah, this is when it gets fucking crazy. Alright, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, go, 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 go. This radiation will just murder you, man. I remember in the last video it said to get to this place, you're gonna need a lot of, like, radiation help. Look at that red bar just filling up. Holy shit. You can't go that way. Well, I just did. I just realized, like, maybe I'm, like, on the outskirts where I don't need to be? Hang on. Oh, here it is. Alright, we finally made it, and we are about to 
have everything taken from us. Alright, so the good news is, uh, this is where I got to last time and I had, like, max radiation and I kept dying. You're supposed to go talk to this guy in here, and I couldn't even get the dialogue without Hold getting it. killed over. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Are you... Virgil? You know damn well I am. What are you doing here? I need your help. My help? With what? How did you even find me anyway? Can you tell me about the Institute or not? The Institute? So, they did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Kinda reminds me of Clayface from Batman. I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? That doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed, that's your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there, but I want something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my... condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and... well... look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me, and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute Courser? A Courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a Courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one.
Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute. Remember? They're your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, Remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Alright, the glowing sea. Well, that was kind of a pain to get here, but... I like the way the story's going. But what is this? Protect and serve. That's it? All right, well, love you guys. Uh, when we come back next time, I'm going to continue with the, uh, I guess, the same mission we were just doing. I'm almost level 11. That's kind of nice. Uh, as far as our quests go, we just did the Glowing Sea. That's all you got to do for that one. Now we're going to do Hunter and Hunted. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace out.